Hi there, um, let's have a quick look at instancing, referencing and copying. So I'll make um, a teapot here, there we go. And then we're going to go and do a reference. So we're just going to click and drag that. And we'll call that a reference. And we'll select this guy again, and we're going to click and drag that. And we'll call this an instance. OK, so this is our original. We'll give him a new colour so we can sort of differentiate him. He's that. This guy is going to be yellow. And this guy is going to be, we'll leave him pink. There we go. Well, if I select my original, I'm going to add a modifier to it. So go and add a bend. They all get the bend. OK, so we can add various bends to it. OK. Now then, if I then go and um, select my reference sorry that's my reference um, and I'm going to add something else like a twist I'm going to do a twist da -da 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 -da. twist you can see it's only added it to itself so that gets to twist so this is like a one way street where um, anything I change on this will be updated so at the moment everyone's got a, everyone's got the bend from here if I change this, that's going to go and update that way. Okay, so that's a one-way street. If I change this, it doesn't go backwards to the original. So the the connections are one-way street on this. Okay, and if I um, let's do one more actually. Let's go and select him, and we'll go and do another copy. Shift, and we'll actually just make him a copy. Okay, so there we go. And we'll give him a different colour, so he's going to be green. All right. So if I go back to my my bend here and I go and bend it, okay, because it's a copy, it doesn't transfer. Even though I copied it and it's got the bend on it, there's no communication between these two objects. It has copied everything that was on that. If I go and change this and put a different bend angle on, if I go and use a, a bend angle on that, I go and change this one. They all change, okay, because this this one is going to go that way. Communicate. That one's going to go communicate that way or that way. If I go and select this guy and I change that, you'll see that these are um, got a two-way communication path. They communicate backwards and forwards, and because that's going back to the original instance, it's also going to propagate and go to the reference. It's complicated, isn't it? There we go. Uh, I thought we might like that a bit. So we'll go back to the, the instance and just go and change that bend angle so down there. So on this guy, I can add, add that twist on it. And it works that way. If I go and add, um, that sort of explains it, really, doesn't it? There we go. So instancing works. It's a two-way communication. Referencing's one way. I can add something new on this one, like this twist, and it won't go backwards. It's a one-way thing. I can go and add all sorts of stuff on top of it, like a lattice or something. There we go. Yeah. So I can use, oops, use the control port to be useful. Isn't it? There we go. So I can add that, and there we go with that. If, we can go, if I go over here and add something else to this, let's go and add a, uh, and add a noise to it. Okay, and we'll turn fractal on, and we'll sort of scale that up. Can we see that this is? If we start to move them, there we go. So they're all getting this. The copy isn't because. It's just a copy. It's, it's, it's got its own set of data. It can do whatever it wants. The reference gets the information from this. It doesn't pass any information back, but it does get information from the instance. The instance is a, a two-way communication from the original. That makes sense. Hopefully it does. And uh, that really is what instancing, referencing, and copying is about. And uh, I didn't want to bore you with that, but I thought I'd put that down and uh, leave you to flog another dead horse somewhere else. So, uh, see you later. Bye.